Hey guys, welcome back to another video with Shaman J. So I'm at the point now where I think I really want to try the Google Pixel 9 Fold Pro, Pro 9 Fold, 9 Fold Pro, the new Pixel. Uh, so it's been out for a while now and the dust has settled. And I think there's a lot of owners out there that have reported that the device is pretty good. I haven't watched uh, when I'm interested in something. I try not to watch too much content on it because I just want to have I want to form my own opinion with a blank slate. Uh, so, but I have looked at some content from Pixel 9 Fold Pro owners, and it seems that it's it's almost, it's not a mixed bag, but um, is it really worth it? So, coming from uh, the Z Fold 6 and the uh, OnePlus Open, which I'm recording with, uh, and then also my original uh, Pixel uh, Fold, which I just don't plan on getting rid of. It would have to be really good from it had to be a good trade in for me to get rid of that and we're we're in a season now in November uh in 2024 the recordings video where you know you're going to start to see deals pop up on online and so I was kind of conversating offline about you know hey I wonder if I should get it or not uh I wonder what the deals are going to be like and so I went on to I haven't been on Swappa in such a long time there's actually some pretty decent deals on Swappa I mean, with the devices coming in at about eleven hundred to twelve hundred bucks or so for some mint condition ones, um, but you know, I, I'm just a fan of buying new. I try to avoid pre-owned at all costs. But some of these show these mint condition ones actually look fairly decent. So, uh, but I wonder where it would fit in in my catalog of devices now that I have the Pixel Nine Pro XL and the Pixel Nine Pro. Those are those have settled in for me to be, you know, some pretty good, good pixels. And the fold is kind of right in line with, with the OnePlus Open that I'm recording with. I just think the OnePlus Open is so good that it, it's it's not getting forgotten. It's not getting overlooked or whatever, but it's just they didn't come with a new one. They OnePlus didn't bring out a OnePlus Open 2 uh, yet. And so... A lot of people, the OnePlus 13 is rumored now. The OnePlus 13 is looking pretty good. So it's, it's kind of like, should I wait for the OnePlus, the next version of the OnePlus open? Uh, because if I get the OnePlus 13, you know, I probably wouldn't get the, the next version of the OnePlus open because I know the OnePlus 13 is going to be fully packed. You know, I can actually get a OnePlus 13 now. That's kind of waiting for the official. You know what I mean? From, from, from one, from OnePlus to see what exactly they're going to do. So. Um, it's intriguing to me that, you know, I never thought, I mean, I've always liked one plus devices. Don't get me wrong. I've always liked one plus devices, but I really didn't know how I was going to feel about the one plus open with this long term that I'm, that I'm checking for it at. And it's been really impressive, man. I mean, to know that I can have a device of this caliber, um, and still push forward. Now, one thing I don't like about the OnePlus Open is the it's not it's not something that I have to have. But they're, they're lately they've just been updating their devices way like we're in November and you know we're just getting the October patch. Uh, it's not on Android 15, uh, so you know, there's things like that. Not that that it's a deal breaker, but I look at those as support. Like you know I haven't had any problems with my OnePlus Open the entire time I've had it, and um. I'm hoping that I don't, but if I do, you know, I'll reach out and see if I can get some support, but I'm not, I'm just going to trash it and, and move on to the next and just buy another one or, you know, buy whatever's next in line. Uh, I haven't had to do too many warranty claims through companies that don't officially exist in the U S like to have like places I can go into like Apple and then also some Samsung places, their support is getting a little bit better where you can just walk into a place and, and grab what you need. Google's not there yet. Uh, but I think that the OnePlus, um, the, not the OnePlus, the, uh, the Google Pixel 9 Pro Fold, I can get them brand new right now at some pretty good prices, but I'm still looking, you know, like without trade ins. Like Google Fi has a really good deal. It's like $1,300, $1,399. That's like $400 off. But I'm wondering that's going to change, uh, as we get closer to the end of this week. So that's why I'm not pulling the trigger yet. Uh, I just don't want to give up my original Pixel Fold. Uh, which I think is still like one of one of the best in the game when it comes to the footprint or whatever. But it's just too heavy and bulky when compared to other foldables that are out right now. Uh, it's just not. It, it's really solid. Don't get me wrong. It's running smooth. Um, but I noticed in the camera, I can't do video preview anymore. Like since I upgraded to Android 15, it doesn't allow me to 
do the video preview with this screen only for photos. It says it's not available. And I used to do video previews with the phone uh, and it's the functionality is not there anymore. So it's strange. Uh, but all the other uh, phones like I, I got the OnePlus open here open, and, and I'm looking at the viewfinders down here. So it's it's super clear. I can see what I, I can see what, what I'm in view or whatever. And then my um, uh, Z Fold 6 obviously is great at that it has a beautiful display uh but with the pixels orientation you know this this display is really nice for looking at your viewfinder it lets you lets me do it only in photos i don't know if that's a bug or whatever but i've had i've had lots of bugs with my with my pixel 9 pro and uh my 9 pro excel lots of bugs with them uh it's 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 not something that's like deal breakers or whatever but you do want to buy a device that's going to work for some time to come without bugs and that device is fairly new and the bugs have hit it tremendously so and i'm not the only one uh, but nonetheless the nine um pro fold it's intriguing uh, but I'm just not giving Google $1,800 again, you know, like I did the first time. It's not going to happen. Uh, I got a discount on mine. I did a trade in with that one, but still I had to give up something to get it. And uh, I just don't know if I want to kick out $1,800. And I know that, like I said, I can get it right now. Google Fi for 13 something or whatever. Um, but uh, I currently use my my Google Fi with my um, S24 Ultra, which I absolutely just God, I love that phone. Uh, so I want something that I wanted to get, I want to get it at a good price. So if you know of some places that have now, I've already looked on Swappa. So, you know, and I, I looked on Amazon, so you don't have to give me those, but, um, I'm wondering if you've heard any deals about like upcoming deals for the pixel nine pro fold. I think it will be pretty nice to bring that device in because I'm wondering how it's going to stack up against the one plus open. I think this one plus open is just like, it's the cream of the crop for, for, for foldable devices. It's really that good. Um, and I've seen people talk about like, oh, it's a nightmare with their customer service. Again, I haven't experienced it. I'm not saying that it's it's not that. It, I just haven't. My device is working fine. So I'm you know hoping and praying that I don't have to deal with it because that would be just a mess for me. Uh, but nonetheless, I'm excited about um, I'm getting excited about the nine pro fold. I had actually originally I originally ordered it. But somehow all it, all my orders with Google just was just messed up. They all just and I had to walk into Best Buy to get my pixels. You know what I'm saying? So um, get out of here. I had to uh, walk into Best Buy to get to get my phones and I couldn't get Google. I did, all the orders just kept getting canceled and moved back three months or whatever. I was like, what the heck, man? So I, I, I let that go. But then when I ordered through Best Buy, you know, they dropped the ball and was like, yo, you know, and I ordered the porcelain one, too. And all of a sudden now the porcelain one just doesn't exist anymore. I don't know what's going on with the porcelain version. Uh, but as soon as I say that now, it's back in stock. It's so weird. OK, I might I might pull the trigger. Uh, the porcelain one looking looking pretty fire. I don't know what happened to the porcelain version of it since launch. The porcelain has not been available. This has not been available. So I don't know why all of a sudden as I start to record this video, it's literally available. Uh, but, you know, the nine pro fold was a device that I did order through Best Buy since all my Google uh, ones were messed up. Uh, so um, I think I'm, I probably should, even though the porcelain is in stock, um, I think I probably will just wait a little bit longer to the end of this week, maybe next week to see if there's any real deals come up for new ones, because if, it, if I can get it for under uh, under one thousand, that's going to be it's going to be really nice. And with no trade, anything's possible. You know what I'm saying? Uh, there's deals out there where, where companies will, you know, they just want to get off the devices. You know what I'm saying? So they'll start to bring them down really low. Uh, now, I could wait until next year and get one. I don't have a problem with doing that. You know, I don't have to be first, obviously. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, but anyway, well, Best Buy I end up canceling that order because they dropped the ball, too. But, you know, I don't have to be first on everything because I'm going to actually use the products and, and actually review them. Uh, with real world testing for l longer periods of time than than some other um, people you might see. Uh, so uh, I, I use this. I use my pixels alongside the iPhones. These are my two daily drivers at the moment. That's a pixel, a brand new pixel and a brand new, the brand new iPhone. And I just think, you know, um, 
I try to get a longer use case scenario out of to really follow up a lot. And after a while, for me, with follow ups, it's not very entertaining at all. Like there's nothing exciting happening, but I still want to let you know that the the product is is working fine. Because there's a lot of people out there that that have the products. This big dog is right here. If you're wondering what I'm doing, um, there's a lot of people that have the products that you know. Um, it's just not one of their dailies or whatever. And so you get follow ups. It's cool. Uh, but I wanted to try to bring in the nine pro fold because I'm really intrigued by it. But what I'm afraid of is that the camera quality is going to be not on par with this device I'm recording with, which again is the one plus open. And, uh, you know, I really love the, the, uh, Z fold six. I use it a lot actually. Uh, and I think that I would have this fear. I did, unfortunately, I did look at some content from, and I believe the person and what they're saying because, you know, their approach is like mine, just kind of sitting down talking to me. Uh, and, and that's how I try to be with you, but their approach is more like that. It's not a whole bunch of B roll and, you know, not a navigating away from what I want to hear. So, man, they were like, man, I take the OnePlus over the, the uh, Pixel 9 Pro Fold any i was like wow uh so we shall see but i'm afraid that the camera quality on the on the nine pro fold won't be up to par uh with some of the other foldables for video and things like that and just some of the photo content so i don't know just wanted to pop on real quick shout how at you guys man let you know that you know i'm thinking about getting the nine pro fold um and um hoping that you know i can get a good deal uh in the near future chill chill out Shut up. Let me finish. Hoping that I can get a, a, a good deal on the near future. And uh, if I can get one this month, I'm saying you'll see the unboxing. You'll see the first impressions or whatever, whatever I decide to do with it. But for now, I think the OnePlus Open is such a great device. I mean, look at these cameras. It's incredible, man. It's your man, Jay. We got some joy. Do you have the, the Pixel 9 Pro Fold? Chill, man. Let me finish. Let me finish, homie. All right, man. I'll see you in the next video.